When your country is presenting, we're going to ask you to stand. Having partners coming together, both implementing and still funding partners and the government representatives to discuss how we can effect these needs, integrate these elements, humanitarian work, development, and peace. Deliberately sequencing, learning, and integrating our activities as partners, together with the government counterparts, and together with private sectors, all the different stakeholders within our country, in our regions, for collective impact. USAID has made a huge commitment to HDP, Humanitarian Development and Peace Coherence, meeting in the region with our partners, with local governments, with national governments. So the commitments at the capital are made real in the region. A people that we are always interacting with, but for the first time, coming to a face-to-face -face conversation that you don't get in all those Zoom calls, or Teams calls, and this is the first time we are actually having a deep conversation. It's a team effort, including the participants themselves, not just only the activity implementers. We are facilitating communities to be able to develop their own resilience agendas. Positive perception towards local knowledge. Are they able? Do they have the capacity? Do they know it? So can we have trust building processes? Intentional allocation and centering of local knowledge and resources is quite critical. So right now we are going to redesign the programming to involve every stakeholder along the very chain. We agreed that for joint action planning to be effective, there's need for commitment, there's need for political will, and there's need for collective action towards that common goal. So when we talk about peace, our goal is how do, do we help our, our team our staff, our field agents, to have that lens as they work with the community. We tend to see uh, our donors also have a very siloed view of their role in intervening. So for example, you'd see that those who are humanitarian are exclusively humanitarian. Those who are development are exclusively development. So uh, I'm looking forward to a time when there's actually a marriage of the three elements. So it's not just lip service. It's actually seeing a genuine interconnectedness. When we realize the importance of the interconnectedness uh, between the humanitarian development and peace coherence, and also how the pastoralists or the communities are rational actors, then it enables us to act appropriately and to support them as adequately as possible. Why not have a joint risk-informed vulnerability assessment tool that we can all pick from each other? We've heard a lot of important recommendations, a lot of important gaps that we need at DC level to address and take action on. Using the inclusion lens, making sure that no one is left behind. Nothing for me without me. The P should be prioritized because without the P, the H and D are not very feasible. And so hence, PhD coherence. Thank you. Engaging. L'apprentissage. I will use enlighten. Renew. L'adaptation. Informative. <laughs> I am relieved. Marvelous. Coherent. Excited. Mm -hmm.